foodies. Welcome to another episode of What's in Polly's Pantry. So in today's episode, I thought I would focus on something, you know, that you could whip up, or maybe not, for a summer get-together, and that is baked beans. Now, when I was a kid growing up, we didn't have a lot of money, and my mother really had to know how to stretch a dollar. So she didn't actually make her own beans. All the beans we had as kids growing up came out of a tin. And, you know, I mean, it was a quick meal with toast, etc., but I didn't like them. You know why? Because they tasted kind of, well, tinny. And so when Mary J and I moved out of the city and into the country and, and had our house, um, I just thought one day, well, how difficult could it be to make baked beans? Maybe I should try making my own baked beans. And you know what? It's not very difficult at all to make baked beans. So here we are. That's what I'm going to show you today. So to start off with baked beans, you actually need, well, guess what? Beans. And the beans I'm using in my recipe are uh, navy beans. Now, navy beans are, are small. They're a very small white bean, as you can see. Very small. Um, you could also use in the recipe a great northern bean, which is also a white bean, but considerably larger, or just something called, in fact, a small white bean, which is actually a little bit larger than the navy beans. But I actually like navy beans. So to prepare the beans, and for this recipe, you need a pound of beans. Uh, so one pound of beans, and you put them in a bowl, you cover them with two inches of water, and let them soak overnight. So that's the first, that's the first thing you can do. Um, now, I did not do that last night. So there's a second way to prepare the beans, which is a shortcut. And what that involves is um, boiling the beans for five minutes, so you haven't soaked them. You just take them out of your pantry and put them in a pot. You boil them for five minutes, put the lid on, and you let them sit in that hot water for an hour. And then what you have to do is you have to then reboil them for another 30 to 40 minutes. The, the first time I made these beans, I didn't do that step. And when we got to the end of the cooking, it was it was a bit of a gong show. It was, it was like, why are these so crunchy? I don't get why these are crunchy. What did I miss? Anyway, so, so here we have the beans that I've boiled. And I actually boiled these. So the, you boil them for like 30 to 40 minutes. So if they're, if they're actually soaked, I would say boil them for 30 minutes. If you do the quick soak on the stove at the, the day you're going to cook them, uh, then I would say uh, 40 minutes. So this is kind of what they look like. Just let me grab the, the dry ones and you can see how much water, how much, how much they've sort of expanded and they've kind of changed in color. So there they are, dry, and here they are. So they're considerably larger, you can see, okay? So let's go. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the beans. I actually happen to have a bean pot that I got at a secondhand store. So you'll need either something with a lid, such as a bean pot, or a casserole with a lid. And I'm going to put the beans into the pot. Hopefully they don't go all over the kitchen. This is, I mean, most of the, I mean, this whole recipe is all about prep. And once the beans go into the oven, I mean, that's it. They're, they're done until you serve them. So uh, this is a really, I don't know, the, they're just, they're so good. I had no idea beans could be so good. Um, and you can see, so that is, yep, that's just about all of them. Put that in the sink. So this is, I don't know how big this pot is, but that's about how full it is. That's about how full my pot is. So to the bean pot, we are going to add um, two cups of the cooking liquid. So after you, the beans are cooked, you do not throw out the cooking liquid. You can keep you keep it. I kept all of mine, uh, and then as it cooled, I just measured out two cups. So this is two cups of the cooking liquid. So this is going back into the beans, and then we're going to add one sweet onion. That's not good. Um, one sweet onion. So sweet onions are just that, they're sweet. Uh, typical varieties of sweet onions would be Walla Walla or Vidalia, um, or sometimes they just say sweet onions, and they're quite large. They're much bigger than a regular sort of, say, yellow onion. So we're gonna put in the sweet onion. 
and then we're going to add um, two thirds of a cup of strained bottled tomatoes. Now I bought my strained bottled tomatoes uh, they, in my supermarket there with the um, pasta and the uh, pasta sauces. It's also sometimes called passata. Well, that's what it is, it's passata. So strained bottled tomatoes are passata. So two thirds of a cup of strained bottled tomatoes into the pot. And third of a cup of packed brown sugar goes in and then we're going to follow by now this is uh, a third of a cup of cooking molasses so this is the hardcore molasses so this is going to go in and this is going to give it its rich deep dark brown coloring and it also gives it a wonderful sort of earthy flavor. So this is cooking molasses. Yeah, not the fancy molasses that you would put that Sister Mary Jane puts on her toast, for example. No, not that molasses. And then we're going to add um, a tablespoon of low sodium soy sauce. And that goes. Um, a teaspoon of dry mustard and half a teaspoon of salt. And then the last thing we have to add, now if you were a vegetarian, you can stop there. I'm not a vegetarian, so there's one more ingredient that's the meat that I'm gonna add. Um, and I'm just gonna give this a quick stir. Stir all these ingredients around. I mean, it kind of already almost looks like baked beans, actually. And these are gonna cook for a long time. Um, we're actually gonna have these tonight for dinner, but they cook for four hours um, at 300 degrees, low and slow, or long and slow. Lots of things that I like long and slow. Beans is one of them. Um, okay, so there's that. And then the final thing I'm going to add to this recipe now that I've got all this sort of mixed in here is my meat and for my meat I'm going to add four ounces of chopped salt pork now if you can't find chopped uh, salt or sorry salt pork you could probably just substitute bacon in fact I actually think probably like a, a, a smoky bacon would be actually quite very good in these just because of the flavor. So that's what, you know, it sort of looks like bacon, except it's not. And it's actually, well, very salty. So that's just gonna go in, and that's the final ingredient. There we go. Now we're just going to stir all the pork, make sure all the pork is gonna add flavor, and it's going to add some fat. So. I don't know. Um, I, I I don't know what omitting the the um, the pork would do, in terms of the beans themselves. Um, I just I've never made it without the the salt pork. So um, it, you know, if somebody wants to try it, they could drop me a note in the uh, in the or a little message in the notes below the video here. And there we go. And then that's it. And then. So there we go, it's got a good stir. Well, everything is mixed up nicely in my bean pot. And these are just, I mean, they're just so wonderful. The smell of the, I don't know, just all the ingredients coming together is just, it's wonderful. So I'm gonna put these in my oven, 300 degrees, and here's the thing. So 300 degrees, two hours with the lid on, and then take the lid off, and then another two hours with the lid off, okay? So just put these in the oven. go. We'll see what they look like when they come out. Hi, welcome back. We're about to check our baked beans. So they've been in the oven now for two hours and we're going to take them out and have a little peek and take the lid off and then put them back in again for two more hours. So here we go. Now let's just see what we've got here. 
Oh, it smells so amazing. Okay. Oh my, look at that. Can you see that? I'm just gonna give them a stir. And they are just looking, and they just smell just oh, so delicious. And as this continues to cook in the oven, the liquid, now that the lid is off, will continue to evaporate and it'll become thicker and saucier, much like you would expect for baked beans. And um, I have to make sure I put my oven mitt back on before I put these back in the oven. And that is it. I'm not going to uh, show you the finished product, unfortunately, because I would be here forever in my face. So uh, we will see you next time on What's in Polly's Pantry. Bye for now.